Ford just announced that they are finally ready to unveil the F-150 Lightning. Lightning, Lightning, Lightning! Their all-electric mass market pickup truck. As Ford's second series EV, like the Mustang Mach-E before it, it represents a bold new direction for the Ford brand. And there's plenty more coming from Ford, including an all-electric Bronco. We've known Ford has been working on an all-electric F-150 for quite some time now. It's a really big deal for the brand given that they are newer to the all-electric space and there's other major players coming to market that will probably be here before them. At this point, Ford has done a good job keeping details about the F-150 electric pretty quiet, but all that will change in a week on May 19th when we get to see how it stacks up to the competition. So what can we expect from Ford's first all-electric pickup truck? Let's start with what we know already. Ford loves their trucks. The F-Series is the top-selling vehicle in the United States, period, outselling all other cars and trucks. The F-150 specifically is really their bread and butter. It starts at about 28,000 and for you know, higher-end models, you can get well beyond 75,000. That includes things like the Raptor and you know, their King Ranch models. Based on that, I think we can assume that Ford will sell the Lightning as just one of the F-150s that they continue to sell. They aren't dropping all of their internal combustion engines for electric motors just yet. That being said, I think we can guess that the Lightning will be uh, in that premium segment. It'll be like the Raptor, like the King Ranch. It'll be one of their more expensive models. Because of this, we anticipate that the F-150 Lightning will probably be on the higher end of their market. So we're talking at least $40,000 and hopefully it stays below 75, but it has the potential to even be priced outside of that. Obviously, Ford is not the first to enter the all-electric pickup truck market. The first to really catch everyone's attention is obviously the uh, Tesla Cybertruck. Starting at about $40,000 for 250 miles of range, you can get a rear-wheel drive Cybertruck, hopefully by the end of the year, and then you can spec it out with dual motor, tri-motor. You, know, you can get all the way up to about $80,000 if you include the full self-driving package. So I've gotta believe that they've got that in their sights, as well as the Rivian R1T, the you know, all-electric, almost like a luxury pickup truck. It's meant for the adventurer, less of a workhorse and more of just a beautiful car to take you know, camping or glamping. And that starts at around $70,000 as well, also gets anywhere between 300 or 400 miles of range. So that is the established market. Now, we can't forget that Ford and Rivian might be working together behind the scenes. Ford owns a significant stake in Rivian, and we don't know yet, but they may be using part of Rivian's powertrain to power the all-electric F-150. Now, Rivian's pretty interesting. They've got one motor in each wheel, and that's something that we haven't really seen in consumer vehicles yet. And we're not really anticipating that Ford is gonna go quite that far. And so we're guessing that they're gonna be just a little bit below Rivian in terms of price point. Uh, also probably in terms of actual like luxury, but Ford is really gonna make this for the premium you know, workhorse vehicle. And we already know that Ford can make a great EV. They did so with the Mustang Mach-E. We own both the Mustang Mach-E and a Model Y, and we can absolutely see where some people would prefer the Mach-E. It's got a quieter ride, it's smoother, it's, it's more, a more premium vehicle than the Tesla Model Y in terms of feel. And so depending on what your experience is with EVs and how much you prioritize range versus just you know, on-road performance versus hauling and, and comfort, you might prefer the Ford. And I think the same will be true when they come out with the F-150. You know, compare that to a very polarizing Cybertruck, it's, for some people, a very obvious decision. And then I think because they're probably gonna bring the price down as it compares to the Rivian, it's gonna be a, a truck that a lot of people identify with, a, a truck that feels more like home to a lot of their consumers. So with our speculation about where this will be priced in the market, we think it may even be a direct competitor with something like the R1T, but more for the work environment rather than the adventure environment. So in conclusion, what do we expect from the F-150 Lightning? Well, we're expecting it's gonna feel like a fairly traditional, fairly expected truck from Ford. I think you know, obviously it'll have like the light bar that they've advertised. It'll probably have a light bar in the rear for the brakes as well as some you know unique back but we're expecting that they're gonna to wanna to sell to their existing customer base here. So it'll probably start between 60 and $65,000. As such, we also expect that it'll be dual motor. There's a chance that they'll come down market just a little bit and make a single motor variant, but I really hope that they have at least 300 miles of range. 
I think it's a bit of a flop if that they don't offer a, a truck that has at least 300 miles of range. On top of that, we expect that we'll see it probably in early next year. They really need to play catch up here in order to release this vehicle close to the Cybertruck, close to the Rivian. And with all that, you know this is just speculation for now. Ford will be unveiling all the details about their F-150 Lightning, Lightning on the 19th of May, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one.